unfortunately in Bermuda, we've seen a decrease in persons receiving their annual checkups between 2018 and 19, um, almost 24% of the demographics between the 18 and 39 year olds um, did not get their preventative care checkups. And unfortunately, we've also seen a 7% um, decrease over that same period of women getting mammograms. And that's very alarming because WHO for the first time um, since 2020 has identified that breast cancer is certainly one of, is, um, one of the most common cancers worldwide. So the ministerial statement was trying to encourage persons to reaffirm their commitment to health and make sure those preventative checkups they are taking advantage of. And then secondly, we wanted to speak about the impact that COVID has had on our mental health. Obviously, isolation, um, fear of losing jobs, being able to um, economically support their family and so forth has had a, um, a, a dire adverse effect and impact on our psyche. And we've seen through MWI that they are seeing um, there has been an increase of persons that have uh, reported depression and anxiety, largely related to COVID. So we just want to encourage individuals to obviously take good care of their mental health as well. And we are hearing that children are being affected quite, um, you know, quite a bit, um, you know, through the pediatricians and, and other local doctors that say that children, because of the isolation, because of the in and out with school, the homeschooling back and forth and also because they're young, you know, and this is a, perhaps one of their first experiences with something uh, so scary. Um, absolutely, absolutely. The Child and Adolescent Services actually at MWI um, have noticed that in 2019, there were 25 admissions, whereas already in 2022, there's been 30, 39 admissions uh, to date. And it is obviously reflecting a worrying trend. Um, and as you've rightly said, you know, the ch children are impacted just as well as adults are insofar as uh, the isolation, being in school, then out of school and so forth. So, you know, I think the main message that we'd certainly like to encourage persons is to just keep in check of your mental health. And there are um, services that are made available here in Bermuda, and we just encourage people to avail themselves of those services.